How to use GMR transcription jobs to make money 2024, does it work? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about GMR and if GMR transcription jobs actually make money and do they actually work. So I'm going to be covering everything from GMR transcription jobs, how you're going to apply to these incredible jobs and how we're actually going to make them work and if they actually make us a lot of money. Now, the short answer to it is yes, it does make you good money. And uh, is it worth the work you put in? You know, some would say yes, some would say no. It's a pretty mixed opinion about it. I would say yes. In my opinion, I think it is a yes. Like the amount of work you put in for transcription jobs, the money we get for them is pretty good. You know, normally for a transcription job, the hourly pay isn't too good. But if you do it in this case, you are going to get a pretty good hourly out of this. Now, basically, once we gotten the general idea of this, let's dive into their website. So you're going to come to gmrtranscription.com because here is where you can find the actual transcription. And obviously, first you come over here where it says fast and accurate transcription by experts. And you can hire transcriptions, you can place an order, you can, you know, use their transcriptions. And you can see it says, join our thousands of happy customers. So New York University, Duke, Yale, Harvard, Strickland, University of Oxford, Columbia. You know, you have so many of these. And it's pretty incredible of how many big names actually use GMR transcription. So in uh, our case we are just here for looking a job right so we're gonna go into careers up here now once you go into careers what we're gonna get here is it's gonna say transcribe better earn better u.s applicants only so obviously this section is only gonna be for all you u.s uh living watchers out there if you live in the u.s this bit of the video is for you but obviously, if you don't live in the U.S., keep on watching. By later parts of the video, I'm also going to show you how you're going to apply in the other parts. So once you come down here, the benefits for this job is a career with GMR transcription. Our transcriptionists or translators typically earn between $1,000 to $3,000 per month. How crazy is that? So depending on their skills and the kind of work they take, so, for example, a transcriptionist will earn money more if they are willing to take more difficult assignments or the files with expedited turnaround times. So as the transcriptionists become more experienced, they start earning more income for the same amount of time that they put in it. So, you know, pretty incredible. And uh, the thing is, if we think about it, you're simply typing a few things, right? You're simply typing. And after the typing is done, what's going to happen? You're going to get thousand to three thousand dollars per month. So when you come to think about it, that's actually pretty good money that you're making. And in my opinion, it is one of the best ways to gain good money. Don't think of this job as a side gig, though, because most people think of it as a side gig. And because of thinking of it as a side gig, they do take it very less seriously. And due to taking it less seriously, the cause of that leads to people, you know, getting lost track of uh, the actual work they're doing. So, again, do make sure that you have a good grasp of all of this. Now, once you've gotten a good grasp, what you're simply going to do from there is, again, we're going to come down here. It says, please do not call us regarding a job, applying or an issue with your test. Our application and test process is pretty straightforward, and if you need help, we may not be a good fit. So, obviously, the application process that they're stating is pretty straightforward. You're going to need to fulfill a test. Once you fulfill a test, you're going to get the acceptance. So, they don't want you to call them because it's a pretty straightforward thing on their page, and, uh, you know, there's no need to actually call them. So, yeah, that's why... I, or like, you know, just um, go ahead and mess with this as much as you want. But, you know, just don't call us. That's the basic thing that they ask. Now, once we've gotten the whole concept of uh, this, what we're simply going to do from there is we're going to come down here where it says current job opening. So again, as I stated, this is for the people in, um, you know, America. This is not for the people outside of the United States 
because if you're outside of the United States, it is going to be difficult to work with us. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to general transcriptionist. You're going to click on apply. Let's say we want to become a transcriptionist for GMR and you're going to click on I am ready for the commitment. And then obviously you have your email. So what's going to happen over here is that they're going to give you a whole typing test. You're going to want to make sure that your typing speed is up to the par. So if you add in your email and click on start the test here, you can see one of the typing tests will start when you type into the box below and you can see it's a pretty long paragraph, right? So you're going to make sure to scour through all of that and uh, add all of that to your repertoire. And the more you write, the more the text goes down. So you don't really need to scroll down or anything. And uh, like if you're giving this test, do make sure that you practice before this because you need at least 50 words per minute. And I'm going to show you like my typing is relatively pretty good. So I'm just going to give it a try and be right back with you. So as you can see, I was done with my test and it says your speed was 24 words per minute. So this is exactly why obviously right now I did not meet the GMR requirement. It needs to be at least 50 words per minute. And I know that sounds pretty easy, but trust me, it's not. It's really fast and your accuracy needs to be on point. So do make sure to get a few practice runs before this. And uh, once you get in the practice runs, you're going to want to make sure that uh, the whole you know working concept of this is uh, all right because if you actually get accepted what they're going to do is they're going to send a mail to the email that you provided to them and uh, once you get that mail it's going to tell you how you know you're actually going to go ahead and uh, add uh, yourself to the actual gmr transcription jobs so you know it gives you a pretty good idea of how gmr transcription works and if, you know, working with them is actually worth it, you know, if the transcription work is actually worth it, if you're going to get the correct amount of money for it, et cetera, you know, pretty easy to get your head around all of these things. So yeah, GMR transcriptions, in short, a pretty good way to make money, pretty great money that you make only for typing things. Obviously, you are going to want to polish your typing skills. You are going to want to make sure that uh, you have a good grasp on listening to people. You have a good focus when it comes to typing. But if you have a good focus on those things, yeah, you're going to be good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic concept of how we're going to work with all of this. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more like uh, this video, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.